a lot of people have been telling me they're looking forward to my reaction of this episode. And with how last episode ended, I think I might know why. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 7, called Assault. Last episode, we had a lot go down off the top of my head. We had Sukuna and Yuji make a pact, which Yuji doesn't remember, so no one else knows about it. We had Gojo teaching Yuji how to actually, the, like the basics of Jujutsu Sorcery, which I'm super excited about. We have Megumi with Zenin and Nobara and everyone else training on, on their whole tournament thing that's coming up, which I'm excited about that. Megumi had his whole fingers into the ground Shikigami type revelation that I don't know what that's about, but I'm super excited to find out. Anime tend to do that where they have that little thing kind of tease you then they reveal it later and then it ended with gojo about to go to a meeting with the principal but getting jumped by jogo so we're gonna see what happens with that so i think i'm gonna end it right here i think we just gotta hop into this episode real quick remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching like black clover haikyuu and many many more to come we are four episodes ahead check out that patreon links are always down below for you guys if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below it really does help me with the youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed click that bell so you guys always know exactly when i post and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias instagram twitch and twitter at dapper darius thank you guys so much uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, Episode 7, Assault. Let's do it. And get Ghetto said he was house strong, like eight or nine Sakuna fingers. Ooh. Ooh. Exactly where we left off. Oh. Oh my lord. So when he was just when that whole thing happened in the cafe he was genuinely just excited like they could literally wow when he tried okay hey you're an idiot if you thought that killed gojo that's true i didn't even think about that that's something i really didn't even put into because I mean, maybe I'm just so used to seeing Sakuna now, and that was definitely pointed out as a power increase a few episodes back when they were talking about not only a curse's power is going to be stronger as they increase in level, but their wit and intelligence and their sentience. So how am I not like these are genuinely smart curses? How am I not registering this an unregistered special grade? So. I want to know his merry band of curses, who he's with, all that. I want to know so much more information. Ooh, he's finding this fun. I'm excited. Yes, he did. What is he doing? Okay, that's actually better. I like that answer. Ember insects. Oh, he can make... Wow. Oh, wow. A two-stage attack of sound and explosions. Ember insects, even with those little needles, quite strong. Nauseatingly repulsive. I love I love how they're so he's so obsessed with the truth. He said humans are filled with lies and falsities. <laughs> this man. What's the meaning of this? Yeah, now whose pride is hurt. The infinity that exists between you and me? <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. I got you. <laughs> Come on. I'm doing it. Okay. <laughs> infinity? The closer you get, the slower you go. <laughs> Not even his blood touches him. Whoa. I love the details. I want to know so much more about his power. Infinity exists everywhere. My man Gojo is so... 
curse technique reversal? Oh my god, this camera work is fucking incredible, but there's no hesitation. He's already there. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> he looks so sick. You can see his eye like even through his blindfold, like fucking... We've only seen Sukunas and we saw the special grade one at the at the prison. He grabbed Yuji that fast? He wanted him to get some experience? Mel <laughs> Fuji. <laughs> he wanted... Oh. He's still watching fucking the movies. Okay, he's watching Lord of the Rings. <laughs> that is so hilarious. Oh, I'm so excited. Because he knew he was about to, he knew he was running out of options, so he was going to use his domain. So he went and grabbed Yuji in a millisecond. This guy's fucking a legend. I love my man. Gojo's. <laughs> Whose pride is hurt now, Jogo? Yep, I love where the power scaling we're getting so far. Like it just shows you how on a different level Gojo is. Oh, okay, here we go. Looks like a molten mountain. Looks like we're in the middle of a volcanic cave. What the hell is this? I love the animation change, the saturation change. How everything's just like desaturated slightly except for the reds they're so vibrant coffin of the iron mountain okay that's that's a dope ass name so this is the pinnacle of jujutsu sorcery is the domain expansion i want to know more an innate domain imbued with a cursed technique in your surroundings that's so cool that's so cool so that's why it's the their last resort in a lot of way but its merits are worth the cost. Ooh, the boost to stats? This is such like a video game. I love it. Oh, so even being in here is a feat of its own. On my... As the new humanity, he considers himself the new humanity. On his pride as a cursed person. Most effective way. Domain expansion. Oh, his eyes are fucking gorgeous. Infinite void. Bro, am I on fucking acid right now? Oh my god, I need to watch this show. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you're asking me? What is this ambient sound in the background? This is crazy. I can see everything. I can feel it. <laughs> yeah, that is very ironic. I'm telling you, his eyes are fucking angelic. He has questions he wants to ask you, but he's going to let you off the hook and die peacefully. It's the only mercy he can... Oh, that animation change was fucking amazing. Literally is like a fucking bobblehead. A whole other level. I like his eyebrows match his hair color as well. Oh, they were watching. Oh, Lord. From the school? Oh, does he know them? I mean, he does know Gojo, obviously. We do. We're the true humans. Ah, man, I can't read backwards that fast. Yep. I'm having my own troubles processing all of this, even though I just took it, took it as fact. Ooh, I love that. 
flowers blooming. Oh, reminds me of uh, Tamayo from Demon Slayer. Very similar in terms of the aesthetic, too. He really did save him. Yeah. Well, I'll be fine. Go after it. <laughs> I respect the the trying, though. I'm going to be fine. Oh, shit. Never mind. Oh, damn. Oh, this is a good goal for us to hit. I love it. A, a tangible, visible goal. Oh. A month of training. Give me a little training arc. Training, basics, how to apply them, exchange event, and harder missions. I got the entire rest of the season to look forward to. Yeah, he doesn't even know about that. So my man lives in an apartment, it seems. Ooh, that was a little teaser. We don't get any more. What the flying fuck? That's the other spirit who was at the cafe with them. Oh, this is the person from the... This is the person from the opening. Hanami is the other curse. Okay. Heavens no. <laughs> he did try to stop him, but I could see how that could also egg him on. Because he's very, very prideful. Seems like a very... October 31st in Shibuya. Four days after my birthday. Mahito! Let me see this. Oh. Ooh, I love the design. Like curses should. Like humans should. Is this the boss? Mahito? Ooh. Ooh. I'm trying to think of another anime character who is similar to Ghetto because he has a very, like, like he, I love his personality where he is telling the truth, obviously, but he's telling you it in a way where you're like, nah, I got it. I don't want to do it. But obviously he's like, oh, heavens no, I did not egg him on. You know, he did that all on his own. <laughs> like, he's just one of those people who puts a, like a facade. He's just so like fake up front, but you can really tell like if you're smart enough, you can tell exactly what he's trying to do. It's just I, I love it. I love those kind of anime personalities. I was trying to think of a character like that off the top of my head. I really couldn't. But uh, um very much enjoyed that episode so much lore and in-depthness was given to me and i literally felt like i was on drugs for a good portion there but it was amazing we met or we didn't meet hanami we can we we learned hanami's name um i was i'm not too good at reading backwards so they said we do feel these emotions because we are the true humans stuff like that that's interesting the, i love the cursed power that I don't, I don't want to say he or she. I have no idea. I'm just gonna say he for now. That he has um, it really reminds me of Tamayo, and they said they lost their will to fight. Kind of like really reminds me of Tamayo from Demon Slayer and Melody from Hunter Hunter. Yes, which even the aesthetics are very similar to both of those. So I, I love that part of anime very much. So, but um, uh, then we also met Mahito, who seems to be the boss. Who First off, let's talk about this whole Doctor Strange fucking Matrix put the key in the door and it goes to a different like portal dimension. What the f is that someone's curse power? Is that a domain expansion? Are they just chilling in the domain? What's going on with that? That shit is super cool. Speaking of domain expansions, I love how we got an explanation for them. It's uh, it's the pinnacle of Jujutsu Sorcery. It 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 is a uh, a domain in which you create that is imbued with a, a curse technique that you choose that is guaranteed to hit the best way the only two ways to stop it are to use a curse technique to fight like delay you can you can you can break out but usually it's impossible or to overcome their domain with your own domain which, which thankfully <laughs> gojo's is uh, fucking insane but i liked his what was his cursed iron steel mountain something like that this shit was fucking awesome with the magma he can control the earth it literally just fit his fire volcano aesthetic perfectly um gojo's was a fucking mind trip don't even get me started on that don't even get me started on gojo's power infinity the endless void the night void black sphere touch red ball of death like what the fuck? Who thought of this? I need to, can you guys tell me? I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to get more and more into the weeb life. So I need to learn more of the mangaka's names. Like right now I have Kishimoto for Naruto, Togashi, Hunter, Hunter, Isayama, Attack on Titan. 
Um, I'm trying to learn more manga because who's the mangaka who did this? If you guys want to put me on some game, I'd appreciate that. But I'm just trying to learn more. I'm trying to trying to get deeper into that mind, you know. But like I said, overall fantastic episode. I love they literally broke it down like animes do, except for us perfectly. We have a tangible goal now. We want to get as strong as uh, Jogo. We also want to get ready for the Tokyo Exchange, and we want to use the Jujutsu Basics and go on harder missions. Like, what could I not be looking forward to? I love training. Harder missions sound dope. Sakuna's, I'm sure, gonna play a part in that. We're gonna, I'm sure, fight some more of these guys. Like, oh my, like, I literally just wanna watch the rest of the season right now. This shit's fucking phenomenal. I am about to watch this next episode, though, called Boredom. So maybe we're gonna start, we got a little tease of this next arc. Maybe we'll start building up into there. You know, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below, real quick. Let me check if we have any questions in the QA section. We do not. If you guys were unaware, we have a Q&A section on the Discord where you guys can ask me any questions you guys would like about any show. I'll answer it. Just, just to let you know if you guys want to do that. Other than that, Dapper Squad, check out the Patreon for early access full length. Have a great day, you guys. Peace out.